Yeah. No, not my script. <laughs> okay, fever. Fever has the potential to be deadly while being barely noticeable at all. Alright, my lethality just went up there. And first victim dies. Oh my goodness. Begin burning deadly. F Look at that. Begin burning bodies to prevent infection. Blah, 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 blah. Shuts down straight Look at this. My virus boredom is causing other chaos in the world. And look at that, so many people are already dead. The moment I just mutated it. Okay, there are still some hospitals that are still alive. Look at this, Greenland's hospitals almost never shut down. I'm sure it's intentional too. Alrighty then, might as well kill some more. Look like we have North here first. Uh, making them stand out in crowds. Preliminary edema is the build of fluids and inflammation of lungs. Can be a serious health concern, it also slightly increases the chance of infection. Uh, exposing others to your disease. Hmm. Bye. <laughs> Dementia is the progressive decline in mental ability. Bye. <laughs> Diarrhea. Ah, oh, freak. Cost to buy eight. Fine. I will wait to evolve. I'm already on max speed, so I. Yeah, you don't really see. You don't like really see the infecting them, but you can like see the dead population slowly and slowly freaking rise. And it's like, <laughs> look at this. Look at this! Look at the dead population right now! Poor United States, they're, they're, they're getting worried. I'm infecting everyone. Fine, diarrhea. Diarrhea can cause severe dehydration in the infected. It also slightly increases the chance of infect infecting other people. Mm, bye! Man, look at this, look at this. And basically, now look at that. Everyone is starting to die painfully. Government of Greenland declares martial law to prevent infection. Closes airports to prevent possible infection. Blah blah blah. Well, would you look at this utter and complete chaos? Oh joy. Ah, uh, but I guess these three survive. You got lucky, bottom. Bottom didn't get you three. I've never beaten Pandemic 2 fully. Even when I start out in, in Madagascar, I still can't infect everyone. Blah. Okay, Greenland gets hit by Aftershock. Aftershock has seized in Greenland. Again, if you want to mutate your virus as deadly as possible, once you infect as many people as possible, and since I pretty much infected everyone, I can. I can, yeah. Okay, there are 13 days to complete and crap. All, all because I didn't infect three hospitals. They're almost complete with a vaccine. So I need to kill as many people as possible. This. I'm gonna buy this. You know why? It may also improve the chances of death when other symptoms are also present. Look at the amount of crap I have here. I can also unlock tier 3 and utterly kill them once I evolve enough. Okay, there we go. They're almost done with their vaccine though. I'm actually getting worried. This is like the first time I ever let them finish developing their vaccine. Normally, I play the game slightly different. I play with a parasite and making a vaccine is a lot harder or something. Recently, developed vaccine is, has been developed and is now being deployed. This basically means that people who aren't infected will uh, basically survive. Crap. I need to kill as many people as possible. Unfortunately, I don't have enough evolution points, so I'm probably gonna just... And since it's being deployed, uh, I guess that means I can't infect anyone else, huh? Resulted in your disease mutating and become immune to any future... There we go. <laughs> I forgot this was a thing. Basically, if you buy enough, uh, I think, drought resistances or something... <laughs> I, I can't remember what the con condition is for this to happen, but uh, if you, if you, I think buy, if I think you wait until the vaccine is being developed and then you buy drug resistance for something, which I think I did, you will actually become immune to the vaccine, you will mutate and become immune to the vaccine, it's sort of like what's really happening right now with some strains of viruses and it's, ugh, painful. Alright. There's still quite a fair bit of healthy people. I can't really transmit via rodents and insects because nobody in their right mind. I think they already killed them all off. Alright, East Europe dealing with widespread flooding. 
I want to kill as many people as possible. There we go. Unfortunately, I haven't actually made any regions forsaken yet. It's actually running slower than it usually does. Normally when I play Parasite, I I wait very long to get evolution points, but the moment I buy these stuff, oh everyone dies. Yeah, I have to wait to I have to wait until I have 15 evolution points, then I can unlock tier 3 symptoms and utterly kill off everyone. I've never unlocked I never bothered unlocking tier 4 symptoms because those stuff like heart attacks or something, it's way too many evolution points. And it's already running on its max speed, so yeah, I'm I'm waiting at this point. Look at all you guys. Your little vaccines can't do crap now. Oh crap. Greenland is now completely dead. Oops. <laughs> I didn't see that yet. I must have missed it under breaking news, to be honest. Very few people are alive now. Look at this. South Africa 3100. Madagascar, you suckers! You're all going to die! How does it feel? How does it feel surviving in almost every other game I played? How does it feel? Your number's dwindling like crap! How does it freaking feel, Madagascar? How does it feel? How does it feel? <laughs> Seriously, screw you, Madagascar. You almost always survive. Uh, la la. Look at its numbers dwindling. Look at the number of people that are dead. Wow, well, look at this. Curfews are being enforced. Martial law, in fact, dead bodies being burned. But the uh, number of people alive are kind of meh right now. Look at them. Look at them. Slowly dwindling, Madagascar. Cuba wiped out by new hazardous disease. I right, can't wait to see Madagascar join them. Look at this, 28, 24. How does it feel? Canada completely devoid of life. Oh, I'm sad. I kind of like Canada. Like in real life. Look at this. Oh, two left, one. Suck on it, Madagascar. Alrighty now. No signs of life, Argentina. And I've completely forsaken these places. United States still live. US, you still live. You still live. United States succumb to boredom. <laughs> Look at these little suckers. Unfortunately, stuff like hemorrhages, depression, kidney failure, anorex, and hypersensitivity will kind of cause a fair bit of evolution points, so I'll kind of have to wait till I mutate some more. I bet they're panicking. Look at this. And... Yeah, they're almost all gonna die. Unfortunately, I... Yeah, they're almost all gonna die. There are like very few people that are infected and still living. I hope I'm... I hope I... Yeah, look at this. I hope I at least get one more evolution point, so... Yeah, look at this. There's only like, very few left. So, alright, I might as well buy this. I guess... Can I buy anything? Unfortunately, I don't have enough points, so I might as well just buy sweating. Yeah, let sweating be the last symptom of boredom. Peru wiped up by new hazardous disease. There's only like 1,000 people left anyway. The rest will all survive because they all live here. Blah. New Zealand, you got lucky. You got lucky. It's funny though, because I know my YouTube analytics and I know who watches me from where and... Yeah, India should have survived. <laughs> they like watching me. So do Hawaii. And US. US definitely loves me. Some people in UK as well. There's only like 100 people left, so... Yeah. No signs of life in Middle East. And all these poor guys are dead. Boredom has killed you off. How does it feel? How does it feel? 38 left. New Zealand dealing with white suffering. India completely devoid of life. Unfortunately, only... Uh, okay, it looks like only China is left. Those poor guys. 10, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, that's my game over. Mankind has been able to successfully survive despite your best attempts. No one is left on Earth who is infected by your disease. Yep, that's it for today and Pandemic 2. If you enjoyed this episode of Pandemic 2, do feel free to leave a like, comment down and thought, share this video, or be an anti-boredom fighter and subscribe. And I hope I open your eyes to the terrors of boredom. Alright, see you guys.